Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the canyon. Welcome back to another installment. Thankfully, because again, I do this a lot and it is wholly unnecessary. Uh, full disclosure that no one asked for. I didn't have anything for today. It, it fell into that perfect window of I haven't gotten the Google money and I blew all the money <laughs> from last month. So I was like, oh, I should just go order some, you know, I should order a set of uh, crap tires from Amazon or something. I went through so many crap tires. Oh, why didn't I think of servos? I should have ordered some like $20 servo and tested that. Anyway, I had nothing. So thankfully, from the comments came, uh, could I test tusks head to head straight up against holds? And I was like, yeah, uh, the holds have been, let me grab one, I'm pivoting, pivoting. They were pretty gross. So uh, they went through the tire cleaner and uh, I just actually just took them out. Look how nice those look. Uh, and also it, it, it tumbled into the perfect blend of perfectitude because uh, these, these wheels, this, this offset of wheel is the exact offset of wheel that's on there. So we will be able to go from tusks to holds just straight back and forth because by straight back and forth, I mean it. This is, this is a wow. This is a day of wow. Where are now wheel nuts? Where uh, we will, we will take those on and uh, we will on and off and on and off probably six or seven times. And then uh, four more wheel nuts go in the trash. Another uh, brief from the comments, which I did answer. Someone answered, what, what do I, pre someone asked, what do I prefer for a wheel nut? I like if they have got the serrate on them because then when the nylock wears out, it'll still kind of hold on there. But as such, I still, I would say low end guess. I go through about a hundred wheel nuts a year because you know, they're supposed to be single use. And how many times have his wheel nuts been on and off? hundred uh so it it won't it won't break my heart to throw them away so here we uh, ghost rover of course maybe not the king of long travel but at least the prince of long travel with the big traxxas long arm shocks on there but he's built for it and he's built different so we'll do we'll do our usual our, our usual use here that we do at at slick rock which as you can see he he does not have a ton of issue with that. That's straight over the kidney bean. We'll bring it back down. I'm, I, and I love this because I'm genuinely curious as to how this is going to come out. We'll pull the lip here. How's he get here? A lot of guys have to use a bump to get that corner up. If you want to call that a bump, I guess he did as well. But the 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 ability to position with these to to drive into the direction that you want to go. These are really up there. He doesn't have the, the fancy hooks. Uh, Argentum the Phoenix runs squid inserts inside his. These are the lowly, but uh, trustworthy double bun. And again, he's not going to lift a tire, whether it's tusks or holds. That, was, that wasn't even full squish in the rear there. Hang that angled skid a little bit, bring it around. Just like he, he slithers. So these will be things to note. I have said in the past that while the tusk doesn't look like a tire that has an enormous amount of side lug, it behaves as if it does. And I think J Concepts with their unlicensed clone here, their unlicensed copy of the one one. Because I, people keep trying to remind me that the 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 Tusk is a scale tire. It sort of is. It's an interpretation. That's why it doesn't say Mickey Thompson on the side. It is also what I what I think they did smartly is so far as I can tell by looking around, no one in the clone market or no one in the real market has made a Baja Pro XS. Not a Baja Pro X, a Baja Pro XS, which is what these are. They have the smaller lug and the less pronounced side ears on the side lug. And it's just the tusk 
is in my estimation like in that four six five four seven five size size tire it's the king of tires and i don't think i'm alone in that estimation because that's why it's out of stock everywhere now the hold is what bogger swamper it's one of the inner coasts and when we swap it over in just a second i'll tell you why i think it hasn't done as well for me historically and while i'm sure there's a reason for it and i just don't know what it is uh he's rocking three silver wheel nuts and one black one now it's j concepts green so it's fine forward drive honestly either the same or a slight edge to, to the hold, honestly, because of that lug shape. This is a forward driving lug. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, maybe a little more, but I mean, we we might we we might be getting into decimals in like how much more. The, the one compared to the other it's 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 not a it's not a huge amount what is it with me and orange wheels i don't hate that i thought orange silver and black was going to be ghastly it's not bad yeah he's not going to lift that's still like i say that right there uh, this is why he doesn't run fenders that tire is almost to the cage and we don't have full collapse on on the driver's side so this guy wants to keep them all down. Do we? Are we going to benefit from that little bit of extra height? Oh yeah. And the maneuverability here. Let's see. Do I got a little correct? Yeah. They literally turned into the exact same spot. I mean, let's let's call it what it is. There's there's a larger than small part of me that wants these. <laughs> that wants these to be perfect because holds don't work everywhere. Tusks kind of do. So if we can get, like, if it's within that couple percentage point differential, let's see, let's see the hold. It's in its name. Let's get right on the edge. Yeah, I mean, we've got an electronic anchor and we have a tire lug that is really geared toward this from this little bit from two minutes ish on the holds have i been sleeping on the holds i don't know they've been tested so many times and have just never found that they've never found their song to sing and man if we can get there today if from the comments can do this for me what a boon that would be because then sitting right behind me on a bench are a full set of tusks which can go to anyone at any time and be phenomenal. So, staircase. I had to trundle all the way back to the workshop because honestly, I think the delayed onset of summer, it's ordinarily, right now it's 100 degrees. It should be, but it's not. It is, it's like, it's 71 degrees, but the sun, that that guy up there that's like making me translucent he's still in summer mode so oh like i'm sweating all over at 71 degrees it's a very weird thing as a lifelong southern californian so i i'm hitting some lines and some spots that i i i think are gonna lean that's so good that's so good are gonna lean more into the strength and the capability of the hold because as a forward drive tire, so good. We're gonna get to, I, I think it'll be station, I think we'll get to like our fifth, our fifth. That's where if the weakness is going to show itself, it's gonna show it there. But like right here, the amount of turn I'm getting and I've never tested them on the Ghost, so this might be how well they would always have done. They're looking, they are looking fine and shiny here. Yeah. 
Yeah, look at that. That is just drive. And for uh, for the compliance cops that talk about how like the tires aren't collapsing. Uh, and I have run a double bun in in a hold before, and just not been wowed. They're kind they're kind of wowing me today, honestly. Little shuttle there, but that that reposition. Now let's see. Will that rear end pull across? Yeah, see right there. The 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 lack of a big mushy side lug. I stepped in pine tree sap in my bare feet and I have big globs of pitch on the bottom of my foot. Smells nice though. Uh, <laughs> uh, if there's stuff to step in, pine tar is kind of one of the better ones really. I mean, uh, I remember fondly, quite fondly back to, I was probably in my 20s and uh, going out to get something out of the yard. So let's let's set this down for a second. Let's imagine that this is your foot. So so this is your big toe. I mean, I know it would go like that, but this is your big toe. And everybody the, is granted the uh, evolutionary ability to wear a flip flop because your flip flop fits right in there in that the bigger gap. Maybe there's somebody out there that doesn't have a bigger gap between their big toe and all their other toes. But mo I would say most people have a bigger gap right here. I stepped right down onto a slug right there and it i i i equate the sensation to stepping in ice cold peanut butter because it just i'll, I'll try to replicate that it did that and i had to scrub it out of my out of my outer meat i think i think about it often as i traipse the yard in bare feet and step in Pine tar, uh, every once in a while, cat poop. Jage, who we have, who hasn't been in a video, in, in a couple videos, neither is the helicopter. Maybe if I talk about the helicopter and the Jage, they'll show up. But uh, she doesn't bury deep. Let's just put it that way. So yeah, these are these are shiny. These are these are shining for me for sure. Very 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 well behaved. Okay, what if we put it too far right? This right here is too far right. Not for these. Oh my goodness. I will not be mad. I will not be mad. So what we got to do is another uh, tire flip a flopper roo Do it again. So let me tell you how badly my brain can wander without just outwardly telling you how badly my brain can wander. And that is, uh, I took all four tires off. And I, I neglected to bring a block, so he's just sitting on the bench. And then I put two of the same tires back on and then realized what I had done and moved them off to the side. I literally have to trick myself like a child uh, and take, oh my goodness. So I have the two drills. I've got the impact and the regular drill. I'll set them next to each other and just instinctively grab the one that I don't need every time. So uh, mounting wrong tires didn't surprise me at all. Yeah, I still, I give more forward drive to the hold, but I give more maneuverability to these. Now, I, as I say, as I shoot that too wide, so it can prove me wrong. I don't think that the hold is is in risk of replacing the tusk uh, atop my, my, my pantheon of tires. At the same time, like I got in right here. I wanted to see how far left I and mean, how far right I could get. How far left, that's the easy side. I wanted to get right up in here and see if we get the shuttle and can we pull it back. Yeah, the hold is better at this. Hold is, is markedly better at that at that line right there. See right through here. Yeah, see. 
there's more push there. Okay, and now we get this side up here. Yeah, see, more drive there. Till we, till we auger the front end in. I hope that if the words aren't doing it, then the pictures are, I hope the pictures are painting a picture of, I think this, and I've, I have said this before. I, who did I say it about? Conquerors? Conquerors and fossils? Tires that have the same amount of total available grip. And I think the Hold and the Tusk are two tires that have the same amount of total available grip, but they can use it differently in different places. So one tire is better at some things and another tire is better at others. Now that is of course here on the canyon surfaces. Let's go, let's, uh, Tusks will go first to just pure rock. I have about five, four to five minutes of available shade here. Let's try to use it. The camera is already, the screen's gone dim. It's not liking it. It, it says that it's summer too. So now I don't feel so bad about it. That, that line entry. Very good. Want to get high up there. Got to use a little more. Pumpkin is augered a little. We get some good, we're getting some good, uh, getting some good crunkle on there. A little curler action. Go for the wide line to try to get the pumpkin off. We need to reposition with the front end and pull it right through. I mean, it's, it's by design and this is a tire that does it well. I always back up right onto the sign though. On the pull up, Let's look at these two pull up versus one versus the other. Okay, straight at it. That's that's an that's a line of agility right there. So while it's fresh in my head, and like I said, we don't we, we can't spend too much time here unless everything overheat. To the holds! This direction of Swip Swap is working out <clears throat> really well as we're gonna hit this. Then we get to go straight to the side hill, which is where the holds have historically failed on me. Maybe they needed long travel, I, I don't know. Let's see, entry, entry. Got, I, got, I got wide, that's, that's, that's more my fault than the tire. Because, like I say, I will try to drive one tire precisely the same way I drive the other one. Doesn't always work. I'll try to get this angle in here. I feel like the tusk is sitting a little lower because I think it's just got more miles on it. We're hung up. We have the exact same hang. Push it over. Same is it? I don't know. I think it did it a little better. I think it did it a little better. Bad entry. Let's go wind it down. All right, gut shot. You want to go gut shot? All right. That's 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 not unusual. To be loved by. Hey, I think I just incidentally put a different song into my head. Uh, five years by Bjork has been stuck in, until after five years. If you live that long, it's been in my head like real bad. It's a great album. Though. No, it's still in there. I already forgot the Tom Jones. Yeah. Yeah, they both same same attitude here. All right, can, can we get, can we get higher? Can we swing, can we swing it? I need just, I need just the right bump. That's, that wasn't it. But maybe it will allow us to enter. All right, here we go, here we go. Ooh, ooh. No, that was that was that wasn't it. All right, 
Enough of those shenanigans. Alright. Straight pull. Now the tusk pulled this straight right over there. I hear a little lug noise. There he gets it. I just had to get the right spot. Like I say, the amount of traction genuinely feels the same. It just feels applied differently. And we're gonna see right now, yeah, the, the, the lurking, it's been lurking. The reason the holds aren't in regular service on other rigs. If it doesn't show here, we've, we've struck from the comments gold. Shout outs. But we're not there yet. So we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out right about now. Oh, hey buddy, hey little butt. Hey little buddy. You just coming to see, check the stuff out? What's he gonna do? I'm now where he wants to go. You're just gonna hang out right there? Yeah, just gonna hang out right there. Oh, he, he decided against it. He was like, I have seen, uh, I have seen enough of this show. So this has always been the point where the hold has stopped holding on the side hill. And my theory has always been that the shape of the lug, there's like a hole in the tread, in the traction profile, and that, and it manifests itself on side hill. I'm still nervous to drive out onto it. I'm also trying to sit in the shade, so it's legitimately a difference of about three feet. I should be three feet farther that way, that way. Uh, but let's, I'm trying to keep me and the camera out of the sun. Oh, it's, it's okay, it's real good. It's real good right here. I'm, I'm not getting any lightness. Passenger front, like it's up. There's a difference between up and light. See, up doesn't do that. Uh, light just means that we're, we're, cr we're cross waiting. So all the weight from the passenger front is dropping under the driver rear. And that's, the, the one end is getting light, but it's not enough transfer that that rear corner is pulling the front end up because when that happens you tend to barrel roll out like that tire is still not touching we're we're up let's see we're, we're up a little there we go now we're touching we're coming into yellas and i'm at full lock the direction you don't want to be turning because it's going to transfer the weight badly and it just does it so as it turns out we have to do that again because a, a peculiar, this, I've had it happen on more than one shock, but I've had it happen on GTS more than anything. Uh, on one corner, and it does seem to be passenger front, the preload collar will dial itself all the way off. And then the spring is just flopping around. So we will see. Was that high tire behavior like i entered super badly that's way too high but again it doesn't feel drastically out of shape yeah that's so high on the entry still feels super planted out oh okay so the minimum amount of preload did it fall off already again? Now, this is one I don't think I have had happen before. After the collar backed off all the way, the, the shaft managed to somehow rotate the body enough to loosen up the actual cap, because Traxxas uses internally threaded. So the cap loosened up about one and a half turns, and it's lost, a. it's all over, it's all over my hands. It's lost enough shock oil in the front that there's not a, there's not an enough damping on that uh, passenger front. That I have never had happen. So now the front is a little slurry.
but still manageable. It, it definitely needs oil in there though, but that little nose up climb, very good. All right, now we need to, uh, now we need to just put tusks on for a minute. He's still here. That, 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 that little scaly man, he's still, he's still right over there. I must be, I must be driving like where his house is. All right, go, I'm going this way, little dude. You can go the other way. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, whoa, little guy. The most, most definitely underdamped now on that passenger front. Like it, it's noticeable. You push up on that wheel and then push up on the one on the other side. It, it really feels different. So I guess. I guess this is for not fortuitous that it happened, but fortuitous that we were doing this and I noticed, I noticed it. How are we looking? I feel like there's a little more body lean. Oh. It wasn't, I, I was, I was looking at the wrong thing. front and if there's there's some collapse there uh if i give it if i give it some real solid beans on flat ground it will like it will dump a corner oh there he went again there he goes he was out of frame but there he was honestly the holds this this is crazy to me I went straight to tusks for this because, like, why wouldn't I? I would never have anticipated the holds to do better, particularly on the side hill. I found them more positionable even in this odd damping situation. The holds, the holds have been the winner on the day on this guy, on this guy. The, the holds did not do well on yellow, but yellow is lighter. Yella has less travel. His weight distribution is different. But on this guy, the whole, I, uh, right there. The, the holds have won the day. I think what, I think what's gonna have to happen is we're going to have to, uh, he has rolled so many times. I'm, I'm almost positive that it's the self riding maneuvers that's loosening up those shocks. Both front shocks are gonna get rebuilt. He is going to get, he's getting the holds. Uh, the, I, I just haven't concluded. Do I just put, do I just throw, uh, all right, here we go. A, a request of from the comments from inside of from the comments. Three options. Ugh, I still have so much pitch on my foot. Three options. Do we remount the holds onto these silver wheels? Do we just throw the oranges on here and embrace the silver and orange festival of contrasting metallics? Or do we go full bore and, and buy and purchase for the ghost a celebratory set of wheels? Because like he could use some Injora Deep offsets. He's running 14s. I think he's running 14 millimeter hubs on here. So that's like plus five each side. So I could just swap out the hex and go to an Injora Deep and then he would have the same, like what Toothless runs, what a number of rigs, uh, Jake, a bunch of rigs run those deep offsets. I could put some deep offsets on here because he had a set of wheels when he was a defender. Those went to Wiley the Coyote. So he's a lot of hand-me-downs. You know, maybe buy him something, maybe buy him a shiny uh, treat for himself. Jeez, I think everything he has that didn't come directly off of his former form was a handout. Yeah, it definitely felt more sure-footed to me on the holds, which is crazy. So I don't know if we got anywhere. 
I don't know if we have we achieved anything. I don't know. Uh, like I say, you I don't think you can go wrong, and ex well, you can, because not every tire fits every situation perfectly. On this rig, the hold, amazing. I never thought I would. This, this is what I love. This is why I love from the comments. I would have never considered putting holds on here. They were just sitting on the rack. And now, in parting, let me let me mention to you, uh, one of the, I don't know, it's a double-edged sword. It is neither a, uh, a drawback nor an advantage to having a six by six. On my, on my tire rack right now, on the bottom, bottom row right, there is a pair of hunks, a pair of holds, and a pair of tusks. <laughs> Because that's all we because because I've got a six by so we we have extras because he went through a lot of tires he he was running hunks and holds he was running tusks and holds he was running hunks and tusks I went, that was when I realized that running tusks on the rear of a six by is a is just a waste of resources like he doesn't need them they don't they don't shine like they do on other rigs and he, this guy is getting holds. Uh, the, the, the decision that need be made with your assistance is the silver wheels that he has now, the, the orange wheels that we saw a moment ago, or some shiny new trinkets for him because, you know, he deserves it. Let me know in the comments. While you're, while you're in the comments, drop a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. Consider a channel membership. It allows us to do things like build the Ghost Rover. I pointed at it and I wasn't in frames. Like build the ghost rover we look forward to seeing you in the next one whatever that might be it's state of the canyon this is put out on a thursday i've already dated the hell out of this video uh tomorrow's state of the canyon uh we'll see you then in between now and then or if you come back later when you come back later in between now and then please one and all do your very best to have a good one everybody we uh we look forward to seeing you in the canyon uh very soon holds who would have known